So if you've been working out for a bit of time, or even if you just started, I'm sure you've wondered what exercises actually burn the most amount of calories. And it's not going to be what you think. <laughs> Now the truth is none of these exercises are going to be weightlifting exercises because weightlifting itself does not burn the most amount of calories, okay? Some people may think that and yes, over time if you put on more muscle tissue, some of your caloric intake will go to sustaining that muscle. This is true. But when it comes to actually burning the amount of calories, okay, depleting your energy towards burning off fat tissue through movement, Weightlifting generally is not the way to go. You can combine some sort of HIIT methods with it or some sort of cardiovascular routine with it, sure. But if we're talking about losing and burning the highest amount of calories, it's going to be more of cardiovascular type of movement. Battle ropes, and the reason why I chose battle ropes and I think it's battle ropes is because again, you're constantly moving. Your lower body isn't moving, however, it's stationed with your knees bent stationary, keeping your body afloat and ensuring that you're going to be performing the exercise properly. And whether you're going hard with this or whether you're going light, you're going to be burning quite a bit of calories because of the amount of movement that you're doing, plus the weight that's added onto the ropes. Some ropes are lighter, some ropes are heavier. Nonetheless, you're going to be burning enough calories while doing this. Now, if you're somebody that burns out quickly when it comes to cardiovascular exercises, this might be a little bit more challenging for you. But if you take it a little bit slow, go for longer periods at a time, 30 seconds, a minute, a minute 30, break for a little and keep going, you can definitely rack up the calories when it comes to how many you're going to burn with this exercise. So next is squat hops. Now squat hops, people generally find hard to do because of the amount of force that's generated when you're performing these. You're going into a squat position, you're exploding up in the air, you're coming back down and you're repeating. This is going to elevate your heart rate quite a bit and again, it's going to cause a number of calories to be burned. The thing about this is that the upper body is now not moving, it's all in the lower body. However, you are moving quite a bit and you're locking yourself into the air and coming back down and you're repeating a jumping movement which cause it to be really beneficial in the fact that it's going to make it hard for you and raise up your heart rate and burn more calories. Next is biking. Biking, we all know, is great for burning calories because of the amount of distance that you can cover, whether you're on a stationary bike or whether you're on an actual bike riding outside. But the amount of movement that you get and the di different types of uh, intensities that you can add on through the gears that you shift can increase the intensity and make it harder for you, which is another good reason why. It's uh, good to add to the list of exercises when you're talking about how many calories you're going to be burning. And now you have to factor in if you're going uphill, if you're just going straight, downhill, all these things obviously matter when it comes to how many calories you're going to be burning because of the intensity that you add onto it. But nonetheless, biking in general, I would think is a little harder for the average person, especially if they're pushing themselves a little further. Next, you have good old fashioned running. You know, even jogging at this point is going to yield you the amount of calories to, higher amount of calories to be burned, especially if you're somebody that doesn't really do cardio at all. Even just going for a light jog for a minute at a time and then walking for the next minute to two minutes and repeating that is gonna cause you to burn quite a bit of calories because of the type of movement that you are engaging in and your elevated heart rate as well. Generally, the amount of distance that you can cover with running and the amount of movement that you get and the heart elevation that occurs for the average person is high enough and will cause the individual to lose a lot of calories, which is why it is still a favorite amongst a lot of people in regards to not only getting and not only feeling good and getting a good workout, but also burning a lot of calories to lose weight. And the first one, in my opinion for that, is swimming. Now, if you don't know how to swim, well, that's something that, another skill that you can pick up and learn, but swimming definitely gives the most amount of calorie loss because of the fact that you're always moving and all the limbs are actually engaging. Plus, you're trying to stay afloat the entire time. Just treading alone can be a workout for some people regardless because their cardiovascular system is isn't that great to begin with. So if you take into account the amount of movement that you're doing, all your limbs are engaging, all your limbs are moving, you're, com you're never stopping, you're always moving. Swimming, in my opinion, is the number one when it comes to burning calories. And you can look at all the types of swimmers out there. Any semi-professional swimmer for that matter, or even lifeguards or whatnot, they generally will have a thinner and more athletic body type because of the amount of swimming they do. It burns a lot of calories. Yes, nutrition obviously make, is a factor and, and it's uh, you know the main factor, but we're talking about the most amount of movement regardless of the fact of what they're eating. And when it comes to 
Um, the type of exercise that burns the most, in my opinion, is swimming. Again, it doesn't mean you can't burn calories with weightlifting. We're always continuously burning calories throughout the day with our basic metabolic rate and our, uh, you know, our daily expenditure in general of what we do on, a, on the average. Our body's always burning calories. How much your body burns is up to you and how active you are, how much muscle tissue you have on you, what you do as, a, uh, as daily activities uh, through your everyday life for work, um, well, what you do for your exercises when you go work out and just how your metabolic rate is. However, it's not going to be the best when it comes to if we're just talking about burning calories, which is why it's a combination to have both. I myself weight lift six to seven days a week and I do cardio three to five times a week. And sometimes I have a really uh, high cardio session every other week or so. But again, just for the sole fact of burning calories, weightlifting will never overtake cardio in that sense, especially long distance cardio. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Click like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys do for your workouts and if you do any cardio at all. And if you do, what types of exercises you do weekly. And other than that, see you guys around.